the radial resistance of a coaxial cable. So here is a picture of a coaxial cable. It consists of an inner conductor and outer conductor. The space in between is filled with polyethylene. The inner uh, radius is A, outer radius is B, and the length of the cable is L. Coaxial cables are used extensively for cable television and other electronic applications. So we're after the radial resistance of a coaxial cable. A coaxial cable consists of two concentric cylindrical conductors. The region between the conductors is completely filled with polyethylene plastic as shown in the figure. Okay, so this is polyethylene plastic. Current leakage through the plastic in the radial direction is unwanted. The cable is designed to conduct current along its length, but that is not the current being considered here. Normally, the current will flow along its length. The radius of the inner conductor is A, the radius of the outer conductor is B, and the length is L. The resistivity of the plastic is rho. Calculate the resistance of the plastic between the two conductors. <clears throat> okay, so we have radially outward current flow. <coughs> so if this is a radial distance R from the center, this is a differential distance dr in the radially outward direction. The resistance is rho L over A, remember? So the radius, uh, this the differential resistance dr is rho L over A. So we're looking at the direction in which the current is flow, rho dr over the area, the per uh, perpendicular area is basically the resistance due to that segment, rho dr over a now what is the area here so the current is flowing radially outward the perpendicular a the area will be equal to 2 pi r multiplied with the length the other dimension of the cylinder so this can be written as rho divided by 2 pi r l dr. So it is uh, basically the perpendicular area here is 2 pi r l. So 2 pi r multiplied with l is the uh, area. So the total resistance will be due to the contribution of all such segments with uh, thickness dr here. So we will basically integrate over all such segments to calculate the total resistance. It's the integral from inner radius A to outer radius B of dr, which is the integral A to B rho over 2 pi r L dr. Now rho over 2 pi L is a constant, so we have the integral of dr over r, which is natural logarithm. So we find that the radius, uh, the resistance is rho over 2 pi l, which is the constant. Natural logarithm of r between b and a. So this should be evaluated between a and b. So we find that the resistance R is rho over 2 pi L natural logarithm B divided by A. It's natural logarithm B minus natural logarithm A, but that is natural logarithm B divided by A. Okay, so we talked about the resistance of a coaxial cable in the radial direction. So we're talking about the leakage current, that's the unwanted current that flows between inner and outer conductors. The inner conductor is at a higher potential, 
so let's say so this is at potential plus v the outer conductor is at minus v so the current will flow radially outward and if we take a segment here uh, uh, with in the shape of a, a circular ring uh, which has the third dimension the length we see that the uh, resistance due to the segment is rho dr over a where a is the perpendicular area 2 pi r times l so if we integrate this from the inner radius a to outer radius b we sum over all such uh, uh, shells here cylindrical shells and we obtain a rho over 2 pi l integral of dr over r which is natural logarithm r evaluated between a and b that's natural logarithm b minus natural logarithm a natural logarithm b over a so we find the final answer rho resistivity of the polyethylene uh, plastic divided by 2 pi times the length and multiplied by natural logarithm b over a